Tyler, Theater Design Company. So what we're going to do today is actually an unboxing video on the Eero rack mount. So if you weren't aware, Eero did come out with a rack mount for uh, us guys that obviously are in the industry or the DIY guys that are using equipment racks. So this is a 1U. Uh, what 1U means is inch and three quarters tall. And then it goes 2U, 3U, and so on. If you've uh, got an equipment rack, you've already dealt with this scenario. This does come with cage nut screws. This is uh, set up for both the 1032 standard racks or cage nuts, so that's pretty cool. And then as you can see, it's got four holes to mount your gateway. And then it's got a spot back here for this power supply. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'll unbox this, but I've already done a video on that. So there's a link in the description to the previous video. This one's gonna focus on our Aero gateway. I think the only tool we're gonna need is Probably our little universal screwdriver for these screws. And then I want to see if it comes with any Velcro or hardware. If not, we'll use some Velcro to get this mounted down. Now, the cool thing is it's actually going in a commercial job this week. So this is the exact scenario. We'd be actually prepping this in our shop and uh, getting this ready to go. And then we'll slide it in the equipment rack and then we bring the whole equipment racks out to the job. So pretty simple device. It's got some instructions here. So it's actually showing the four screws. It's showing mounting the power supply in the back area here and the only thing I can see that I and I was even looking at this when this first came out is they didn't put a blank filler panel in uh, for dust and whatnot on the side of that I didn't really like that feature um, I think any of you guys that do any you know 3d printing could make a blank and hopefully Eero will get some insight on that and uh, treat this a little more uh, you know a little more pro with a little blank plate here but as you can see it's got your four screws here standard rack mount configuration it's not super flimsy um, compared to most rack stuff, so you get it mounted here. That'll stiffen it up. Power supply bracket there. I don't think it has screws. I think they're designing it for Velcro. So we'll grab some Velcro out of the shop and uh, show you how we got that going. Get a little pigtail for the power. And then you can see here's the hardware. So let's get this hardware kit opened up. Kind of show you what it's got in here. Again, this is the first time I've actually used one of these. Uh, we'll have these spec in most of our jobs, uh, especially for residential with the equipment racks. And so here's what we've got here. I'll slide this out so you can actually see the hardware. So the little tiny screws, I guarantee, are to go into the Eero gateway. And then they're using the more kind of like a Dell or a Cisco. So they're using the cage nuts that lets you uh, unscrew them. We don't usually use cage nuts on any of our jobs. So we ended up using the standard 1032 uh, threaded rack screw for uh, most of our racks. And so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll uh, get this thing kind of prepped in a little bit and uh, show you where it stands and show you kind of a finished product on it. And then I'll do a little screen capture and maybe a little YouTube short showing this in the installed equipment rack when we're done. Okay, so I've jumped back in here. I actually haven't opened up the Eero POA gateway, but I've confirmed what the hardware kit is here so you've got four little screws for the Aero gateway you've got four cage nut screws and then I went out to the shop these are 1032 screws so a little washer this is the screws we use for our equipment rack so I grabbed four of those so I can get that rack mounted in and then I also grabbed some three-quarter inch velcro so there's a link in the description to this velcro we buy this on Amazon and Big gigantic rolls use it for most of our jobs still use a lot of zip ties too but for this one as you can see it's got a three-quarter inch loop right there so we'll cut mount our power supply there so next step is I'm gonna uh, get this thing unboxed get it mounted and I'm just gonna do it real time but I'll probably zip through the video there's no reason to have a 10 minute long video of me mounting a narrow gateway but as you can see as I unbox this power supply pretty cool place to mount the power cord there it kind of sits in there but no hardware to mount it so it's definitely a velcro situation and then power cord and then of course you got your Eero gateway and uh, link to that description that we've already done an unboxing of this thing uh, just just a super awesome device if you ask me and then we'll see if we pull these out if this actually is the screws which it is so all four of your little tabs are going to come apart obviously that's going to mount right there the recesses are set for it so and again no filler panel which is pretty dumb if you ask me there's lots of companies i mean obviously mid-atlantic makes custom face plates 
So a little disappointing they didn't do that, as I mentioned before. Set this stuff to the side, and then I'll zoom through this again. Okay, so fairly simple rack mount, nice and solid. So that's pretty cool. And then our next step here, let's work on the power supply. See how they wanted you to do this. So my guess is something like this. And uh, what we're gonna do is actually undo this so it's just, we don't need this little guy here. And we'll get that plugged into our back power here. And then you could do it a couple different ways. I think what we'll end up doing on this one is just a nice simple loop there. So again, we're using our standard Velcro. It's designed for this Velcro from what it looks like to me. And again, I'm going kind of fast, but this is, again, it's a commercial job and it's, uh, no one's going to look back here, but it's going to be nice and secure. So there's your one power side there. And again, this isn't strapped down yet. So when we get to stuff like that, the way to strap that down is going to be to pull that over. Kind of take your Velcro and wrap it around this once so you know your size. And then you want to give yourself a couple extra inches. And then we're going to cut that. So that's a good length. And then we'll do number two on that one. And a good length. And what we're going to do on that is slide these through. Now you could use big long zip ties if you wanted to on this as well. Again, so that's that Velcroed in. Then we're gonna hold it, give it a nice tight pull. There's one. Okay, so that's now your Eero with that. So nothing's falling there. And then they didn't really give you another eye loop for the power, which is probably good. Again, we'll probably get rid of these little plastic rubber things on most of the jobs we do. They're little tie straps. We'll get that plugged in. And then depending on your power, you obviously have this racked out to your power. So in our case, we actually have a power strip going right up here. So this, the only advantage of maybe having this open is we'll do a service loop and we'll plug this right back into our power that's gonna sit here in the rack. Um, it's battery backup with the front power, so. For the time being, we'll just do a nice little service loop on this. Maybe. And then, once we're gonna be out in the field, we'll just cut a little piece of Velcro so we have that. Okay, so there you go. So, nice simple little rack mount. We didn't need to use these, in my opinion. You probably throw those out. And again, we're going to use our standard 1032, but it did come with its cage nuts. And then you're going to have some little leftover rubber bumpers that we're not going to use because it's wrapped mounted in there. So that concludes the video, but real nice little device. Uh, link to Amazon to buy these, uh, about $100. Um, well worth it if you're doing a rack mount. A uh, typical rack mount one use shelf is $40, so you're paying $60 for some very specific mounting of the Eero, but nice to have. This thing's not going to slide back if you're putting cables in. And my guess Eero was kind of thinking with this opening here was that you can route your cables back through and around into your devices. So maybe that's for a win there. Not really sure. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for subscribing. Have a good day.